Hey everybody, Mark Johnson here, founder and creative director of Able Ape Studios, back again with another book review. This is going to be the third book review I'm reviewing already in 2018. You know, the plan is to, you know, at least to review, I don't know, uh, 24 books in a year, but, you know, hopefully more than that. Uh, that would be about two books a month. But, um, yeah, the book that I'm reviewing this time around is a book that I... I don't know, I just can't really get over the fact how much I really enjoyed it. It's kind of a thicker book, you know, it's not necessarily, you know, it is a kind of a paperback kind of type of book. Um, but it was a little bit intimidating when I first got it and I was getting ready to, you know, start to start to read it. Um, it's, you know, I guess I had it recommended it or had it recommended through uh, listening to Tim Ferriss and, Kind of listing the books that he talked about that everyone should read to kind of get the the, the, the best information um, that's out there and so you know I kind of wrote down a list and kind of got as many books as I possibly could and this is one of them and um, I've been how to say I heard about this author before um, he had wrote a book uh, about power um, he also did another book um, that he did in collaboration with 50 cent which was pretty interesting um, and this book is by Robert Greene, and it is entitled uh, Mastery. Mastery by Robert Greene. And um, I know there's a lot of things that I can say about this book. I really enjoyed it. And if you're familiar with, let's just say, um, the, the 10,000 hour rule, uh, which was done by Malcolm Gladwell. And he talks about the 10,000 hour rule in the sense that to really begin really super good at something you know, or master something you've got to spend 10,000 hours um, in doing that and you know I try to calculate that to kind of figure out what that would be per year per month that kind of thing and it's still kind of astronomical it takes about 10 years you know in a sense being dedicated to something like that it comes down to something like that um, and you know how to go about that mastery or Robert Greene goes in depth in this book um, and kind of gives you some examples or explains to you how to go about doing that. Um, obviously, to master something, it's going to take time regardless. You know, there's really no way around it. You know, it's not something that you can kind of just like download and kind of be an expert or um, master it um, just like that. So it's, be prepared to take some time in it. You know, the more time you can spend in, at a certain kind of thing, the better. And he kind of, in this book, explains how to kind of do that. Um, you know how to you know make your study and your time um, you know um, learning the the task or the you know the, the thing that you're trying to do to master um, within the book he kind of explains that very well and I enjoyed that uh, he also goes about the path of you know becoming a master at something you know sometimes you need a mentor you know talks about you know how to find a mentor and you know how to kind of um, uh, how would you say, uh, 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 navigate the tricks and the things of having a mentor. Because uh, not always, because the mentor and the apprentice uh, relationship can get uh, kind of dicey at a certain point when, you know, the apprentice is at the level of the master, you know, some points, and he talks about that. And I th another thing that I should say about this book is that he uses, I would say, real life examples throughout history uh, to kind of, you know, back these uh, topics on how to become a master. I think that was great. You know, I've always liked the examples and have real life examples of real people that you can actually go back and, um, um, you know, research on your own. Um, I think it was a great, great thing. The stories are very enthralling, you know, so you get into these stories and you're kind of wondering what he's talking about. And then at the end, he gives you a review of the story and what he, um, want you to pull out from that story and how it relates to being either um, on the path of being a master, being an apprentice, or you know how to navigate you know being the apprentice and dealing with someone that is your mentor. You know throughout the book it's just kind of um, that kind of process you know gives you a little bit of a story um, and how and at the end of the story it gives you the review of it and how that story uh, shows you um, the path to mastery. Um, I haven't read any of his other books, 
I know he has a lot uh, or a few other books out there um, currently but uh, this is the first Robert Greene book that I've ever read um, I did a lot of following him on uh, some interviews he had on YouTube I followed uh, maybe some of his I don't know if he's on Twitter but I think I might check that out but uh, yeah it's just a great book you know I, I really enjoyed it again I'm the type of person that likes to have you know examples real life examples or just examples that are you know hardwired to what you're supposed to be learning um, you know at the end you know the point of it and so um, I would definitely uh, recommend this book for anyone out there I, I like I said I enjoyed it um, like I said it's a little bit of a, a thicker book it's not too crazy thick you know it's it's, it's a little bit of a thicker book but um, I didn't have any problem you know going through and reading this it's a uh, it's easy to read again there's the examples the stories and then again at the end of the story he always reiterates what he, you're supposed to draw out of the story um, again I just keep saying I enjoyed it but uh, it really put me in a position uh, to want to read more about Robert Greene um, I've read um, well I've, I can't say I've read another book like this you know in recent or even in the past I think it's you know uh, sets alone again it's about mastering and so it's about being able to you know take the thing that you want to be able to learn and find ways to do it whether it's in um, you know how to practice how to focus you know things that you know I think there's a, uh, a part in there where it tells you how to spend your time you know when you're when you're uh, 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 studying or researching you know, it talks about how to use your time well. It talks about, uh, you know, when you get on that path and you want to search for a mentor, you know, you don't always need a mentor and maybe you're in a position where you can't necessarily find a mentor. Then it talks about how you're supposed to use your study and how to use that focus time to kind of really get into it. Um, you know, it talks about, um, there's a story in here where the apprentice you know, is in a position and he has more knowledge than the master and the master gets jealous, you know, starts getting jealous and trying to sabotage the apprentice's, um, you know, growth. And he tells a story of how to break away from your mentor when the time comes. You know, you got to be strategic about it, and you know, not necessarily give away uh, what you're trying to do as you're, in, you know, learning from this person. But you want to be able to learn as much as possible from the person that's mentoring you in a way that's not going to be detrimental to your growth um, so he talks about has a story in there like that um, but yeah again I can't really say anything bad about it you know this was a, a, a read that took me a little bit of time you know I'm not necessarily the fastest reader but I like to be able to you know take notes as I'm going along so that might be part of it um, but I really enjoyed this book I definitely would recommend this to anyone that's looking to uh, in a sense master something you know kind of gives you like a, a blueprint to kind of how to do that and also you know if you're one of those people who who subscribe to the 10,000 hour rule this is another book that you can definitely read um, to give you a little more insight on how to go about that so yeah this has been the my book review on Robert Greene's mastery um, a definitely a good read I really enjoyed it I would definitely recommend it to anyone out there um, who's looking for you know a book to help you in your road to success so if you like this book review definitely give it a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing the channel definitely subscribe and again this is like my third book review this year and I want to continue on doing more of these because I have a stack of books that uh, I've read and I haven't done any reviews for them and I want to be able to you know create something with that and also share my knowledge and help people out there on their road to success as well so like we always do at this time have a blessed day see you on the flip side let's go